Hey everyone, and this is Jawad from speakingtomorrow.com here with a fantastic tip on PowerPoint. Too often, PowerPoint presenters typically load their PowerPoint up, and what you see on your laptop screen is what you see on the projector screen. And typically, a, tip, a, a presenter would have a whole stack of papers with their notes, ready to read off their notes, and look very unprofessional. But here today, I'm going to get demo for you a simple technique within PowerPoint that will allow you to be able to look like a pro without notes. It's called the presenter view in PowerPoint. PowerPoint, and say laptops in general, when you plug in your laptop to your projector, has two modes. The first mode was the typical mode that you'll see called the clone mode, where what's happening is on your screen, your screen is cloning what's on your laptop onto the projector screen. And this is actually a huge waste because there's another mode on your laptop that allows you to extend your desktop. It's called an extended desktop. It creates a second screen for you where the, use, where the audience will see what's on your screen, but at the same time, you could actually have your computer available to you to say, read off your notes, keep track of time, you know, all, a whole bunch of other stuff. So there's actually two modes available that you can take advantage of. And today we're gonna look at what they call extended mode. To look at extended mode, we need to set up our laptop. It's very easy to do. It's very easy to do. We'll set up our laptop so that we're in extended mode. And then from there, we're gonna look at how we can actually take advantage of PowerPoint and set up PowerPoint so that one screen would actually show our notes. The other screen, would show the view to everybody else, the actual slide. We're gonna do that in just a sec. All right, and so the first step you need to do is configure your laptop so that it's able to see, or able to set up the extended mode. To do that, you type on, you press, you start your start menu. And in the search bar, you type the word display. The second option that comes up is called connect to an external display. Now normally, when you have a laptop, there's just a special function key that you'll press to get that, to get the, the screen to display on your projector, but we're gonna go the long way. There's a number of ways to do this. We're gonna go the long way just so that it's easy for you to understand, and I'm sure there's a shortcut key on your laptop to be able to do this a lot quicker. So if you click on external display, you'll see that there's an option for multiple displays. If you click on multiple displays, look for the word extend these displays. And when you do that, you'll, and you hit apply, you will notice that you have your, your regular desktop on your laptop, but if you look at your projector screen, you'll see that it's a whole other view. It's a whole second desktop. And what you see here is that now you have what looks like your desktop background on the projector screen, but on your computer, you have your regular desktop, all the windows that you have. And the beauty of this is that you can actually move any program you want onto that screen. Like for example, I could take this window that configures my display settings and move it to there. And so now you see an entirely new window. It's like it's like one big giant stretched desktop. So you can move stuff from left to right. It gets a bit confusing at first because you, you have the time to try and figure out where your mouse is. But once you get used to it, you find that it's very convenient. In fact, I recommend you don't do this during a presentation, but you do this before your presentation. Sit down, get comfortable, understand where your mouse is, how to move windows from from your laptop to your projector screen and vice versa. Take that time beforehand because you don't want to fall, fall, fall on your face during your presentation. So now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on PowerPoint and how PowerPoint can take advantage of this mode and also provide you with additional information and notes during your presentation. So if you look at PowerPoint, you'll see that you have your typical slide you see that you have your slides that are going down the side, the next slides you're going to present on, 
you have this open window at the bottom that no one really touches or no one really does anything with. That's your notes window. That's where you can actually put personal notes to tell yourself what to do when you're on that particular slide during your presentation. And so you see here, I have a couple of lines that I'm going to try and relay to the audience during my presentation when I hit this particular slide. Now, most of the time, when you actually present, you see a full screen of your slide, both on this laptop and on your projector screen. But because of that, you really never see your notes. And you have to print out a copy of your notes on paper to be able to uh, understand what you're supposed to say at that particular time, kind of like your script. Here, we don't, no, we'll no longer have to do that anymore. All you have to do is if you click on the slideshow option, you will see towards the right, there is a little checkbox that says presenter view. Now in the blog post, I have screenshots that show you everything detail by detail. But this video's purpose is to show you the whole entire thing in action. So if you click on presenter view, if you look above, you have two options. You see resolution, and you see show on. All right, show on is the option you care about, the second one. Because this is basically saying where you want the actual presentation slide to go. Do you want it to go on your current computer or do you want it to go on your projector? And of course we want it on our projector. We don't care about seeing it on our computer. So we have to ensure that we select the second monitor. In this case, mine is called monitor two. And once we do that, if we hit, say, F5, which is our current key to go full screen, you'll see that I have presenter view. This is the actual presenter view. Now, I believe in 2013, Office 2013, the look changes a little bit, but essentially the features are still the same. This is your current slide up here. Down at the bottom, you can see your next slide and the slide after that. You have your whole list of slides. And off to the side here, you have your notes. The notes that you could use for yourself while you're during while you're doing your presentation. So the so obviously this laptop is not going not going to be facing the group that you're presenting to. It's facing you. So you're able to use those notes to your advantage without having to look to a piece of paper and look like an amateur. This makes you look like a professional. And if we look at the projector screen, you look at the projector screen, you see your entire slide. The, the audience does not see your notes, does not see the next slide, it just sees your slide. So take advantage of this opportunity to, enhance, to make yourself look like a superstar when you're presenting. Right? You can take, take advantage of presenter view and be able to show the audience your slide like your typical presentation, but the audience will never know what's going on on your laptop. And you can use that opportunity to put any personal notes there that you want to use when you're presenting. For a full detailed script of this, of this tutorial, check out speakingtomorrow.com for all the screenshots, the step-by-step -step instructions, and you too can be able to become a professional speaker. Take care, bye for now.